Welcome back guys. So we are over at our coal generators here in our power plant and we are setting up the design that we're going to be doing in today's video. Which is going to be kind of building this whole area up here. Uh, I got a, an idea in mind. I haven't really applied anything to it so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I think it's going to look really really cool once I finish it. But we're just going to kind of work through that process as we go through the video. Uh, right now none of this is hooked up. So we need to transfer all this stuff up here over to here so we can get rid of all this and continue to build this downwards. Uh, the goal for today's video is to try to use all of the coal nodes that are in this area to produce roughly, I think, around 1,200 power. Depends if I overclock it or not. Uh, we're going to find out as the video goes. So all that being said, guys, uh, let's get into it. All right, so kind of the design that we're working with right now is we have uh, eight of these set up, and they're going to go down in kind of a descending order. So right here we have a one uh, level difference, and then the next one's going to be two levels, and then we're going to see if we can fit three levels uh, down at the bottom and kind of figure out um, the exact way that that's going to work. And hopefully the idea is that it's going to kind of round off and get a little bit more rounder towards the bottom. We're going to overdo the top of it with a glass roof and make all of it look pretty. Uh, the only problem is we need to get all this water for down here, up here, which is always a problem. So what we're going to do is pretty much build a water elevator to get a lot of the water and everything that we need up here to the top. And then we're going to use the little water tower trick kind of back here. Um, also, I did get Blade Runners while I was kind of setting all this stuff up, which is really, really useful, which is what you're hearing right now. But we're going to put water towers back here and hide them at the top of this. And that way all the water can kind of run across the roof and go down to where it needs to be. Uh, as for the coal stuff below, we did unlock the floor holes. And we're going to put these right here. And all this stuff should be able to be fed from underneath uh, through this little uh, gap I got here. You can kind of see, like, there's the there's the bottom of that level. And then in here, I can remember how to get back here. You got to go around. But down here, we have a whole nother level where we're going to do all the sorting and everything and get it up to where it needs to be. And we're going to continue with these kind of under the floor for the coal. And then up from above with the water stuff. So we're going to start getting all this set up. And I'll give you guys updates as we go. Yeah, so now that I've actually kind of stand down here, there is not a lot of room. This is technically only, uh, I believe, three meters. Um, and just kind of the way that it's set up. I could probably move it down a little bit more, but I'm worried about the floor. Uh, especially kind of over on that side being a little bit higher. So we're going to stick with this. We should have enough room to fit in uh, everything that we need. And make sure this is fine. Oh yeah, it's going to be tight, but it's it's just enough space to get all this work, and we're never going to look at this anyway, so this isn't going to be too much of a problem. We're going to start setting this up. It's super easy. It's just um, all the lifts are set up down here, and then you're going to go down from uh, a single line down into eight of these. So it's a real, really easy split. I'm going to set all this up, and I'll be back in just one second. I know it's dark, and it's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's, a, it's a really simple split. It's the same thing as any of the cold drainers would be. Up there, we're just doing it down here. Um, so this is now set up to be supplied by a full 120 line. So all we need to do is get 120 coal into this. It's going to be super simple. Uh, and then once we do all that, we just need to do the water towers up here. And then we can get this line set up and we can remove our generators down there. Uh, so I'm going to get working on that and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I set up these uh, four fluid buffs. Those are going to be for our four sets of these that we have. Uh, and then we're going to pretty much uh, run the uh, pipeline right across here, right above this. And then we'll put in the junctions and then drive all this down. And then we're going to connect each of these lines to one of these junctions. So we'll have four uh, intake lines on the water um, elevator thing that we have set up. And then that'll come into each of these. And then I'll go to uh, one set of this as well. Okay, now we really don't want to just leave this, uh, especially these little... Um, platforms here just in the air because I don't like that so we're just going to take the supports and leave this as just one long line I would not have been able to stretch this uh, all the way across like this in one single line so just by doing this and getting rid of the support beams it can actually just become one solid thing so then from here it's really simple we're going to wall this off so it doesn't look like this but it just has to come right here and then it can go directly into here with a, a nice right angle at least get that right just like that and then you have your connection. So then you have where your water elevator is going to come up and bring everything into here. You'll have your four lines, uh, your four fluid buffers to create your water tower. And then from here, this is going to run all the way around and then just drop down using gravity. So then all you really have to do is put in a little junction, which it's going to be difficult to line up because you won't really have a point for it. So you'll have to kind of work with it a little bit, but this is kind of the plan. And I mean, even just doing it like that, like that is fairly straight. Eh, use some work. I'll figure out a good system for getting it straight, kind of get all that worked out, but that's kind of 
a little bit down the line. Uh, let me work on all this in the background so I don't have to bore you guys with it. And uh, yeah, and that's what it's going to look like. And I'm just going to kind of box everything in. Uh, it looks like I could have got that over a little bit more. Uh, it's not a perfect setup. I'll have to work on that a little bit more in the next one to kind of get it more straighter, uh, especially from the kind of like a side angle. But uh, I'm okay with that for the most part. And even if it's back a little bit, that's fine with me. Um, it's really not worth it, I think, to try to get this more above this than it already is. So we're going to leave it like this for now, and um, we're going to keep moving along. Uh, the only thing that we need to do now is technically build a portion of our uh, water elevator, which we're going to put over here on the side. And then once we get that going, then it's just repeating the process and moving this coal into this line and then building it down more. So we're going to get started on that, and I will be right back. So this uh, up here is level with the fluid stuff up there. I just did a little 3 by 3 square, and then I cut out the middle here, and I put four of these down. So this will be the back one because it's further away from over here. So these will come from down there all the way to here. Get a nice blue line, make sure it's going to be straight. So it comes slightly forward. Get rid of this. Try again. There you go, that's a nice flat straight line. And then we'll do it again with the other side. And then for these two up above here, we need the stackable uh, pipelines, which I believe we can get from the awesome shop. So we're gonna get those. Uh, and then we'll, we'll pretty much run these right here. And then we'll use the little stackable pipeline stuff just above that to kind of snap these where they need to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those real quick. And then I'll be right back. And I may adjust this because this does look pretty far open. I don't like this gap now that I'm kind of looking at it. So I definitely could put like a, a half foundation up there and then press all these into one little thing, which I'm probably going to do. Um, or I won't. I don't know. I'm going to leave it like this for right now and I'm going to go check out the awesome shop. I'll be right back. So I ran all the way back to my base here and I checked out the awesome shop and I could not find the stackable pipeline supports. But I found them in this Mark III thing, which I think is really stupid that they're there because that. I understand the kind of conversation of, oh, it's upgrade your logistics and making it more organized, but I think that's stupid because this part doesn't even require steel parts. So in order to unlock the thing that I need to finish this, make it look pretty, I had to set up an entire steel base, which is really stupid and I'm not going to do it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to mess with the system a little bit and just pretty much place it and then delete the support structure. I'll go over there and show you right now so you can understand what I'm talking about. So the way I'm going to get around that is I'm just going to place it down uh, with the support beams just one level above and then I'm going to get rid of it. So then you have the actual pipe there and you can still snap to it and it's all good and I'm in the water. That uh, it is right and it's not perfect but it should at least someone make this organized until I can get that stuff unlocked and then come back and redo this a little later. So we're going to keep moving forward just so we can get this done and uh, I will be giving you an update here in a second. So while I was down there setting that up, I realized something that um, I only have the Mark 1 lines up here, which only do 300 per minute, and I need 400 per minute to run this, which is not going to work, which means I need to double my buffers and then double my water lines to get this uh, to where it needs to be, and then I need to split this in the middle. So I've got to rearrange how I'm doing this whole water thing and I'll show you once I have it the correct way. So we got one side of this set up. We did end up going to four because I gotta get all the wine. I'm so tired of going in the water. So we got all uh, eight of these set up now. We put pumps on these ones back here just to kind of get uh, our initial jump start from this stuff there. Uh, we had to put three lines of pumps to get the lift high enough to get up there. And then we're probably gonna do another set of lifts to get it from this level where it's at. Or actually, no, that should be the level that's on the fuel fluid fluid buffers up there so um we're going to start off by just moving half of this over to get it running and then hopefully we can switch off and put the other line in and that'll get working we still have to kind of rearrange it up there so i'm probably going to set that up first and then start switching all this stuff over so after a lot of uh laying pipe we ended up getting all this set up i had to do the eight lines like i talked about did a nice little trombone design here hooked it up uh, i took out all the support beams to make sure it looks nice and pretty uh and it runs around to the back of these eight fluid uh, buffers here so I get up here and I'll show you a better look of how it's going to be. Um, I probably could have organized these a little bit better but instead I just put them in between there and it, it, it's fine. There's just a little gap in the center so not a big deal. Uh, we did have to do this kind of weird thing so all I did to fix this top line was to split this line right here which puts our four uh, generators here 
and then our four generators here and then i can run something down the middle of this to make it look nice and pretty um this is all good i just have to keep track of which lines are which so i make sure i got water going to the right place because i'm not setting all these up at once uh and i'll have to kind of feed these over the top of this line and organize it the way down to where it needs to go uh, along the sides which is not a big deal i can figure that out and make it look nice and pretty so this should be all good we're gonna go ho go ahead and go down there and try to switch off four of those generators to four up here and then hopefully we get this running and then we can do the same to shut up those and then move this up here and get rid of everything down there and get it out of our way so we can keep building so we're gonna get started on that and i will be right back all right so we got our water we got our coal and now we just need to hook all this up using some of these uh power line mark twos so this is eight, unfortunately, so I'm going to place these back here, kind of tuck them away so you don't really see them. And I'll have to do two of them and then kind of wire them through the wall and do a couple of things to make it look nice and organized. So I'm going to set all that up and I'm uh, probably going to give you an update until I get this whole thing switched over because this is already taking quite a bit of time and I want to get this finished. So we're going to move all this stuff and I'll show you when it's all done. This has been so much work to redo all this, but we're finally at a point where we have all eight of these running. We replaced our power grid with this up here. Now it's just a matter of getting rid of all this stuff down here uh, and redoing the water extractors, which are going to be a little bit difficult because I have to plan out the rest of this build and kind of work that around that because I don't want to cross them this way if I'm putting stuff down. So what we're going to do now is get away from all the power stuff and go back into the design and try to set up that a little bit more and get a better idea where everything needs to go. And then we can start setting up these water extractors and put them in a nice place so they can be a part of the spill as well, as opposed to just kind of crammed off to the side wherever I can put them. So I'm going to take all this out, start setting up some more layers for these coal generators and see what we can do. So I'm going to get that done and I'll be right back. So I, I was doing this design down here and trying to get everything set up and laid out how I needed it to be laid out. And I realized I had to make some changes here. So this is now um, a half foundation because I was having some trouble getting these generators to line up exactly where I needed them to be, especially with the overhead pipes when you put it in. So I wanted it to be close enough to where I could fit um, a lot of the stuff underneath here, but I needed it just far enough to where I could fit the pipeline coming down. So I was able to kind of do that by putting this as a half foundation. And the important part is that it backed this up enough right here to where this is now mostly flush with this. So when I put these railings in right here, they're going to be sitting inside of this the same way as these are over here. So yeah, this right here is completely flush against this and I can do the same thing and repeat it. So if I turn this into a half foundation and then do the same little doorway design I did over there and then so on and so on, that'll be able to create the correct distance. Uh, for this uh, little doorway, I had to kind of clip these so you can see that it's, it's messed up if you're looking at it. But not that big of a deal. It's all good. Uh, actually, I can probably get rid of most of these. The only thing I really needed is this door right here, uh, which is still having trouble. But I placed a, a half foundation like right here, and then I was able to snap that wall into place to create this little doorway. And it's all looking really, really good now. So I'm going to continue pretty much repeat that over and over and over again all the way down and then i'll show you what it looks like here in a second all right so we've made a bunch of progress here in kind of the background and i've just been trying to do a lot of the bulk stuff a little tedious stuff because this is really really repetitive after the initial stuff of um, the knowledge of setting up the coal generators for one which is pretty basic and kind of rudimentary and a lot of people should understand that but a lot of it's just doing little design stuff like filling in the walls and and running back and forth and getting enough concrete to finish stuff so um, this is kind of the roof design that I'm going for, and I want to just kind of show you guys some little updates on what I've been doing. So we got a roof design set up. Uh, this isn't going to be like a slanted all the way down. I'm going to try to round it off by using um, these like uh, roof uh, two meters right here. So like this, and they'll all be the glass. So it's going to be glass top, and then we'll have these little uh, double ramps going down to kind of add some depth to the roof. But the idea being is that it's going to get gradually steeper and steeper as it goes down. So once it hits to this, which you have a one meter gap or a four meter gap, one of those four meter blocks in between this level and this level. And then you have a two meter gap between this one. So at this, it could be two meters. And then a little further down, we will go on to the four meters. And then now we got like a really good slant. And then down there at the bottom, it's going to be even deeper. So depending on how that looks, I may have to adjust it to kind of base it around where um, the generators look because a, a slant like this would be too high and then doing this two meter stuff might be a little bit too low so i'm gonna have to see how it's going to kind of play out and i'll work on that a little bit more and give you an update on a second um i did fill in some of the hallway stuff down here 
So there's not really much over here, but on this other side, I'm starting to block it in. And you can kind of get a general idea of what this is going to look like with these pipes coming down from here. And you'll be able to look down and see like the, the conveyor belts coming in like this. So you can see the coal being actually fed in. You'll see the water coming down. Got these nice railings so nobody falls off. And then like over here, this is kind of like the hallways are going to look like. Uh, they're just getting gradually down with these ramps and it's all kind of concreted in. And then I might add little roofs or little rooms off to the side here. Like I got... Uh, I got some platforms over here so I can add like uh, like there's a limestone right there so I can put in a couple of constructors and get some concrete and stuff set up on the sides of this. There's a bunch of nodes around this area so there's a lot of different stuff that I can be doing. It's just a matter of finishing everything and at this point we're just kind of in the grind process of it. We still have a whole nother level of cold generators to do down here and then we have the roof and the sides and we have to hook everything up so there is a lot of work to go around and it's just a lot of little tedious stuff like this so I'm going to do a bunch of work. I'm going to try to get this pipeline set up here, and I'll show you a little tip on doing that. Um, and then we should be getting to a point here where we'll be closing out the video here in a second. All right, so we're up here where we're going to put in our next layer of this. And I have put more of this roof in at this two meter to kind of see what that looks like. And I really like how it's turning out. It's just a matter of how this is going to work out down here once we add uh, the extra lower layer. So I was hoping to do about three, me uh, three of the four meters down. Uh, the, the big old blocks, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't know how that's going to look with the space down there. So we're going to have to kind of play it out and figure that out as we go. This looks really good so far, and I'm really, really liking it. We just got to kind of keep working on it and see how it plays out. Uh, in terms of filling this out, though, pretty much you have your half meter foundation right here, which is your catwalk. And then right here, we're doing another half meter all the way down to the end of it. And then you're going to take your uh, pipeline. And I have wall holes, which I'm going to use now. But just for the sake of doing this, um, there's like three slots you can go here. You want to go on this far back one, like right there. And we'll set this up about halfway down. to be right around there. This. And then once you get rid of this, uh, you need to kind of have a place where you can stand. So you kind of got to set something up here. Like this. This is how you look down. And once you get rid of this, you can place your uh, your little cross junks in. Again, we're lining it up with that little edge of this orange, like right here where this is. That's what you want to line it up with. And then as long as you have it set to the horizontal, horizontal to vertical build mode, it should get you a really nice straight line and it puts it really close to this. You could probably get a little bit over top of it, but I was having some issues with it trying to like kind of J itself at the bottom. So I really didn't want to stick with that. I think this is fine, and I'm going to stick with just how it is because it's kind of nice with how compact it feels. Um, it, it's it's everything's all right there, and it's nice and organized, so it makes it look even better. So that's how you do that. That's just a little tip for you guys. Uh, I'm going to rework this a little bit, get this all set up, and I'll give you an update here in a second. I really really hate that this stuff isn't center because for what I'm trying to do, this doesn't really work out. Um, the it obviously has the two inputs and the water is in center, so that means that this is its center and it's all lines up which is kind of worse I almost think if I would have rotated it it would have worked out better but then that would have looked weird with the descending order so I don't know we're just going to deal with it and hopefully that you never have a catwalk up here that you can actually see that this is all messed up up here uh, other than that it's fine if I had the, the mark two lines I'd be able to run them just right across so it wouldn't be an ordeal I could probably do like this because then it's going to try to pull from the bottom before it goes up but that's purely for aesthetic look and i don't think that's worth doing so we're gonna leave it as it is but uh yeah that's really bothering bothering me a lot moving on so uh in terms of filling this we're gonna leave this bottom open because we're gonna place another um this is, why is this a half foundation we're gonna place uh, another set of foundations below this to get everything set up and it's gonna kind of lift up to where it needs to be so it'll split down here underneath all of this and then go off to where it needs to be which is up here um we're going to leave this as it is, though, wide and open, which is going to be kind of weird. But uh, with the way I have it set up, by moving this down, it almost acts like an optical illusion where you can kind of see if there's a gap there. But unless you actually jump off and like, ooh, what's down here? Uh, it's really not going to be that big of an issue. So I think that works really, really well. We're going to probably keep it like that and keep doing that down as we go just to kind of fool the viewer as opposed to having to, like, look all the way in there and see what's going on. So I filled out some of the bottom layer here, and I got this set up where this is this is three so we have one we have your flat level then you have one down and you have two down and this is three down 
which would create a really nice flat roof and it's probably what i'm going to stick with it is a little weird uh kind of looking at it and it's kind of a little bit confusing on how i'm going to do the water pipes exactly because they're going to be a lot lower or i can offset them and make it a little bit higher because because i've been i've been sitting with the consistent gap of like four to five uh walls i think it's i think it's five from the bottom of this to the top of this now we do five it's going to be like right here like right in your face so i don't know if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to kind of see how that looks and play with it a little bit more. But um, overall, I think it's coming together pretty good. It's just a matter of kind of finishing off and placing the rest of this stuff down. All right, so we still have like two or three minutes uh, of this video. So all I'm going to do in that time is fill out this and get this uh, other coal miner over here set up to run the second set of generators. So our goal is to get all this running. And that way we should be up to about 1200 power and we should be at a really good point, uh, especially to kind of stop the video and move on. Uh, so let me get some stuff done real quick and I'll give you a little update on that and then we'll be closing out the video So I'm down here trying to set up these belts and every single time I equipped one of these belts I get all the lines off of these pumps over here and this place looks like a disco down here And I really can't deal with it. All right So I'm having a little bit of trouble here with these power lines So these work really fine in the back because they're out of the way and they're tucked away and There's nothing they're against if I were to put a power line down here it's going to show up. If I do a Mark II, which I'm going to have to, I'll show you that real quick. Uh, this will actually push all the way through here, and I'll see it on the catwalk. And I really, really don't want that. So that's not an option. And I'm not going to do a bunch of Mark I's. Uh, I could do this double wall outlet and put this down here. Oh, no, I can't even do that. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to get creative here for a second, and I will come up with something, and I'll let you guys know. So here's what I decided on. I just tucked them on the ends, which they're still like in view, but they're a lot more kind of in the way. And unless you're really like staring at it, I don't think you're gonna see it. So I put one on each side and these are all connected. Then I'm gonna have like a, a little outlet wall up here that I'll hook up to up there. So that's all good. Now it's just a matter of getting the water up here. So we need to go down there and set up our uh, water extractors here and make sure that everything is kind of going where it needs to be. So we got all of our water hooked up and all of our pumps. We put everything down there. Uh, we kind of just put them on the end for right now because we're still going to have to rework them once we get some more pieces here. Um, like the stackable pipelines are going to be huge for doing that stuff down there. I can try to work around it, but it's just a little difficult. So that's where they're at for right now. And I've already hooked them up to all up here. So now we have uh, two up here and then two down here as well, kind of going in there. So this is all good. And this all should be running down there. So uh, why isn't it running? Oh, boy. Oh, because I put water to the wrong one. I'm trying to power this, and I got coal over here, and I got water over here. All right, let me get this fixed. Hold on. All right, so now we have the water going to the right place, and we have all this hooked up. We just need to connect it into this system using those wires that we were talking about. So this all looks good. Let me set up the wire, and then we should be all good. All right, so it's all wired together. I just brought it up uh, a little point to this uh, pipeline here, and then just a little... Uh, right angle there to kind of get it down to where it needs to be. I end up putting wall markers on the ends over here and I'm probably going to wind up moving these uh, to the corners like I did down here. I just had the doors open and that's why um, I haven't put them over there yet. So I'm probably going to move those but this is going to be the end of the video because we're now sitting at uh, a really comfortable 1200 megawatts of power and we still have two more levels to do. So there's a lot to get done. Um, if you guys want to see me finish this video, or at least finish this build, and you, you really, really needed it, you can uh, go ahead and like down below. If we hit 15 likes before Friday night, which is, you know, 11 o'clock or whatever, I'll, uh, I'll post a bonus video Saturday. Uh, if not, I will see you guys next week, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week.